The United States and its allies are considering options on how to respond to the increasing attacks launched by Yemen's holy rebels in the Red Sea. Trisha Molina has the details. The U.S. once again warned Houthi rebels to stop their attacks after the militant group started targeting commercial ships in the vicinity of the Bab el mandeb Strait in the Red Sea in recent weeks. There have been at least 92 attacks on U.S. troops in Iraq and Syria, launched by Iranian-backed groups between October 17 to December 12, according to the Pentagon. Some former commanders of U.S. forces in the region have called for a more forceful response to stop further aggression, but triggered fears it may escalate tensions between Iran and the United States. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin III will visit the region next week amid escalating tensions. Since last week, Washington revealed it is consulting with allies on appropriate action in response to the latest drone and missile attacks in the Red Sea by the Houthis. The rebel group has launched more than 70 drones and ballistic missiles towards Israel, which is more than 1,000 miles away from Yemen since the start of the Israel-Hamas war. The Israeli Navy sent a warship to the Red Sea to respond to threats from Houthis. The U.S. has blamed Iran for using its proxies to attack American personnel in the region after the U.S. showed support for Israel and its ongoing war with Hamas. Iran denied its involvement in the October 7 attack launched by Hamas and said that the resistance groups in the region are acting independently. Reporting for Newsline World, Trisha Molina, SMNI News.